Monkey 1000. And I just try to make sure it's on. <laughs> anyway, so I thought I'd do a little update. I haven't done anything in almost two weeks. Um, the house will be done probably by the end of August. So that's when the closing is. Hopefully everything goes okay. So by then, hopefully I'll be able to do more videos. And, uh you know, do more sales too here at the house. I'm going up there today. Uh, I'm sold a the vanity, which is good. And so I'm going up there t t for them to pick it up. Anyway, so while I'm in the backyard, I'm going to show you a few things. Now, we are looking at the sunflowers. So this kind of little update on the sunflowers is the shea bears. He's not here right now. He went off with a buddy of ours that um, we met through selling, you know, on the corner there. So, anyways, he's gone over there to do a trade, and I believe he's bringing back a big, huge tent. So, I'm sure he'll be doing a video on it. Anyways, this is his sunflower. It's doing good. It is starting to come. I see a flower coming. He also has this one right down here. Now, we've had a lot of rain. I mean, a lot of rain. And by the weekend, I think we're supposed to get more rain. So, this is not helping these sunflower seed, seeds at all. So, this one right here is mine. Something is eating it. And as you can tell, I think this is way, probably too much water that's causing a lot of this. But the eating, I don't know. And I do have a flower in mine too, so I'm hoping at least I'll get one out of the whole thing. As long as today is supposed to not rain at all. So hopefully maybe the sun comes out enough and we'll be able to really get that flower out of there. And we just not got enough sun right now. And there's Bruno over there having a good time. I brought him out. What you doing, Bruni? What's Bruni doing, huh? What you doing, Bruno? So, he doesn't like the rain either. So, anyway, so here's the rest of the vegetables. Um, as you can see, they really kind of got overly watered and they're starting to all go away. So, something is eating that one. I did get quite a few of them off. We got a big one over here, I see. But I don't think it's going to get any bigger. That's going to be it. Uh, you know, you have to have a balance of rain and sun. And we have had more rain than sun. So, <clears throat> And this one right here, we're going to have a couple peppers, I see. I think you can see them right there. Yeah. Can you see them? I don't know if you guys can see them or not. Uh, anyways, I'm trying to point it to you, but it's just not doing what I want it to do. So, anyways, there's a pepper right here where my finger is. There it is. I found it. <laughs> got lost there. There's a pepper right there. So, we got a couple coming on there, so that's good. They were good. That I had one off of there, and it was good. And then we got some more coming off of here. Got some flowers. So that's good. Those are growing. And I think the hot pepper, we got a couple of them left. Not too many. I've been using them in my salads and stuff, and they're really good. Um, I really enjoyed doing this, um, you know, garden. And we're going to do it a little different next year. I might do some cucumbers and um, maybe head of lettuce. Maybe do a couple of head of lettuce and stuff like that. Um, he's going to put these. We're going to do this again. But we're going to put them more on the ground. But we're going to make a platform. So I can put soil in it and stuff. So it'll work a little bit better. So if you've been watching Shaber 1000's videos. As he's done a. He cleared this out. The other day when we cut the grass. And he cleared it all out what you wanted to do and then he had the beehive way back over here and it was huge really really big 
hope that ain't another bee because I'm highly allergic to them. So we decided to make it a fire pit. So we're going to make it a fire pit, but it hits a little bit too deep. We had it burning real good. If you watch his videos, it'll be on his. And um, so he wants to put some concrete down there so it doesn't go so far deep. You know, we want it there, but we don't want it going way, way, way too deep. So, anyways, this is our little hole, kind of cozy. And we're got, um, Shea Bear bought me a hammock. So I'm going to put a hammock up between that tree there, I think. It'll be that tree and the other tree way over there. And I'll be able to put a hammock there. We'll clear that out a little bit. So you'll see that video coming up soon. It's supposed to be here Saturday, so I'll do an unboxing on it. And that's about it. It's been quite nice back here. i got to watch Bruno. Don't need him taking off on me. Um... He's pretty good, though. He don't usually. There he is, sitting at the doorway. He's ready to go back in. <laughs> so, that's about it that we've been doing. I haven't even been selling because it's been raining so much. It's been horrible. Um, and then we're supposed to have more rain, I think, on the weekend because a tropical storm is heading this way. <laughs> so, hopefully, it stays a tropical storm and not a hurricane because I don't need that one. But we made it through the biggest one ever, so that was, thank God, I was holding my breath on that one. And, oh yeah, Shea Bear did put vents in my shed for me so we can have some ventilation in the shed, which he did a video on. So watch his videos, he's got quite a few up. Um, he's here all day and I go to work or doing stuff around the house uh, I haven't had time to really do any videos so um, you know so I've been trying to trying to chill a little bit too I mean you know so that's about it right now I'm gonna go up to her house this afternoon and hopefully that vanity will be gone there'll be one less thing to go I gotta get Shea Bear up there so he can um, pull the pull, pull, put the pool filter on that we bought. We bought a brand new one, so he's got to take it apart and put the other one on, and hopefully the pool will run. And because uh, the deal was that we had the pool running for them um, before they close, so that's fine. So, anyways, that's it for now. Monkey says she's out. Uh, Y'all have a great week, and I'll try to get some videos up real soon. I'm sorry. It's just been real hard, you know. This has been very difficult, trying to do all this and juggle it all, and then by the time you get home, you're so tired, you don't want to move, you know. So, it's been one thing after another. And, and rain, oh my God, so much rain. So that hasn't helped. It's not supposed to rain today, they said. So I'm hoping my flower might come out. Maybe. I would like to see it come out before the weekend because it might get destroyed over the weekend if we have a bad storm. So, anyways, Mike says she's out for now. Bye, y'all. Okay guys, I came out to check the mail and there's a bunch of cops down the road. This house that they're in front of is a house that was sold and they've been working on it. Working inside, working hard on it and everything. Um, don't know really what's going on, why they're there. They've been there for a while there now. At least over an hour. They're the cops. But I just saw two... There's a cop right there, if you can see him. I don't know if you can see him walking. Over there, at that house, let me see. Yeah, there he is right there. I don't know if they're having trouble getting in the house. They do, there was a teenage boy there. So I don't know what's going on. Very strange. Yeah. And they're not even living there. Not yet, anyways. 
So, they're not even living there, so I don't know what's going on. But, they've been there. They've been working on the house, and they've been painting it and fixing it up, so I don't know what's going on. Eh. Strange. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we've been watching this house down here from my house. So, they've been down here quite a while, and they're doing their thing. They've gone in, uh, and the other cop has got his gloves on. So, kind of suspicious, kind of weird. Um, don't really know what's going on. Yep, the other guy's got orange gloves on. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's freaky. You're making me leave now. Well, they could be just... How long they've been in there. Maybe they're going to break it open. Yeah, but how long have they been in there? Yeah, that's the thing, too. Well, they've been sitting out here more than they've been inside. Well, I'm talking about the people. If somebody died, how long have they been in there? I don't know. Because maybe the neighbors smelt something and called 911. That guy mowing? Yeah. He could have smelt something. Nah. That's to her. Just call, just talk to the anchor, <laughs> the news anchor. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Anyways, I don't know what's going on, but it looks suspicious. He is opening up his trunk. So, I don't know. I mean, they've been working on this house. They, you know, they've been painting it, fixing it up. And, and no one's lived in it, so I thought maybe they were going to flip the house. And, um... I seen a girl one day over there and a guy and a couple of kids and and then all of a sudden there was nothing, nobody. So I have no idea what's happened. Spooky spooky. But if I find out anything I'll let y'all know. So I thought I'd throw this in and I think I'm gonna take you up to um my house today up there to my mom's house and show you what I've sold and what I haven't so we'll kind of just do a vlog so there's Shea Bear having fun Oop. I got his chest there there you go there's his buddy over there he's leaving anyway so if I find anything out if we find out anything we'll let you know bye for now Okay, everyone, as you see, I am back at home. I didn't do anything at the house. I was too tired. It was hot. I mean, this heat is unbelievable. So, I did sell both her dressers that were in her spare room to the same lady. So, that worked out good. And then we went to Walmart. And after Walmart, um, we decided just to come home. So, anyway, so, um, we came home and still haven't got the flowers up. The flowers are still kind of coming out. So, maybe, but my worry is that over the weekend we're supposed to have this bad storm. So, I'm thinking that, you know, these might not come out. I wish if we get hardly anything from the storm. Maybe we'll get some sun where we can get these flowers to come out. So, anyways, so Shea Bear brought home this today. And he traded it for a, um, I don't know what you call it, air compressor. He made one. So he comes home with this little doodad. And it's pretty. He put it up. Watch his videos. He's got it up on his videos. It's pretty cool. So now we got a new tent. So he kind of just traded it. So he's got a little awning on here. I like this tent. It's a Coleman tent. And I kind of like it. Because it's got a... It's got a um, screen on there. And there's Bruno inside. And that's kind of nice. 
I mean, I like the teepee tent, but I, it doesn't have a screen on it. And it doesn't have one of these little doodads on here either. And that's kind of nice, especially if it rains. And we go on a tent here in Florida. Well, it's going to rain. So, it's got nice big windows in here. Nice. And it's got two rooms. So, you could we could invite somebody and you can close it off right here. See? Just nice. And then... If we're just the two of us, we can each have our own room, or we can put our stuff in the one room and have the bed in the other room. And, uh, or we can make it a Bruno's room. Yeah, Bruno, you like it? What do you think? So he kind of, he likes it. I think he really likes it. So, well, he put it over here by the fireplace, so that's kind of cool. Maybe we'll spend the night in it and have a nice fire one night. Come on, Bruno. Come on. There you go. So, I like it. It looks pretty good. And I like this video. He put it up by himself because I was at the other place. So, it wasn't, it was, looked pretty easy, you know, to put up. So, pretty cool. Anyways, um, down at the house, there wasn't any more really to to see um, when I did come ba back the um, the lady with the, the truck she was back there so at the house and they had somebody there cutting the grass so I don't know what happened it was very weird um, strange I don't know if somebody tried to break in or if they were having problems you know who knows but the cops were there for a very long time they did put orange gloves on, which is hazardous gloves for whatever reason. So, and they disappeared. They just left. So, I don't know. There's a golf cart. And I told my mother today about the golf cart and how much you like it. So, she says if you want, just keep it. Oh, yeah. So... Because he likes it because he can bring stuff and see now we have the shed we could take some stuff put it on there and run it up to the front if we want and back and forth and we'd like to maybe I'll get some if we keep it I'll just buy the new batteries. That's another tent. Is that another tent? Oh I thought you saw it was like a canopy to go oh, on. That's what he said it was. But oh. this is another tent. Oh my god. Wow. Huh. You'll have to put it up and see how well it looks. See which one we'd like better? Well, yeah. That's cool. Well, that's interesting. He told him that he had, you know, that it was a tent and, the, and a canopy that goes on top of the tent. And he thought this was the canopy, but this is another tent, he says. Wow. Bruno. Did he get back inside the tent? I thought I locked it where he couldn't. I think he went back inside. Yeah, he's inside the tent. What are you doing in there, bro? Oh, how did you get in there? Hi, buddy. Uh-uh. Get off Get of down. Get down. Get down. Oh, you must have crawled. I must not have put it all the way down. Come on. Yep, he did. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, oh, that's how he got in. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So now you got another tent. So. We'll have to put it up. And you want to put it up at? Right there? Good. Yeah. Have to put it right there. Alright. Get off there. Get off. <laughs> so anyways, that was my vlog for today pretty much. Um, I'll hold on and get him to put this up. And then we'll check it out and I'll just add it on to this video. So stay tuned. Okay guys, this is another tent. So now we have two tents 
in the backyard. So we got one for for uh, Kim and Egghead. Captain Egg Beer. Sorry, Captain Egg <laughs> Beer. And I can never remember hers. And then we got one here for for Nancy. Oh, Miss Lottie Dog. And you got two rooms, so we could put Nancy and Ben in one. Now hold up. <laughs> we got a third one. We got the teepee tent. Yeah, we got the third one too. So hey guys, I got you. I got your room. Over there. Yeah, we can put the teepee tent right over there where that red thing is. And then seven ninety nine a night. There you go. And you got we got a hotel going on now. <laughs> I already don't like this one. It's Hillary. It's a Hillary. Uh oh. It ain't a Coleman. It's the same color though. Hmm. No. This one's got blue on it too. Oh. Uh -oh. Ben just, um, and Ben. <laughs> Poor Ben. <laughs> um, Bruno. Bruno. <laughs> Helps himself. There you go. Well, they musty. They've been in a bag for years in, a, in an old shed. Yeah. No this one shed. stinks bad. It'll air out. Yeah. It will. Of course. It needs because to be Because I think out. this might be canvas. I think that's what you're smelling. Oh. I think so. So hmm. we'll have to uh, waterproof this one. So you get two windows in this one. And this is a removable. This one here. Oh. So you can make it one big huge tent or you could close it off where you got Two people. See, guys, I got y'all set up. Sorry, I got a small house, but we put you in the backyard. We'll have a party. We'll have a great time. And we got the golf cart, so we can go to the lake or the river. River. We go to the river and hang out. <laughs> That's we funny. One for <coughs> Cat and egg beer. Uh huh. And it's Lottie Da. We yep. got one for Nancy, and we got one for Ben. Yep. There you go. We got a party going on. Yeah. See? Kenny, he'd come down. One of them will let him shack up with him, I'm sure. <laughs> and you got Bruno. He'll navigate everybody and tell them where to be. <laughs> That's funny. That's cute. Well, I'm surprised. I didn't know you had two tents. I didn't either. I would have did it all in one video. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. But it's good that you did them up so they, you know, get some air. <laughs> Your buddy's going to drive by. He's going to see the tent. <laughs> he's going to laugh. I think this might be the one he's talking about. Seems like it's in a little better shape than the other one. Yeah. He said this guy, it might have been his dad, I don't know, but he wiped it down and everything before he put it away. Uh huh. So this is in better shape than that one, but he was thinking one of them was a big tarp to cover one. Oh. He was wrong. Yep. He was wrong. But that's a pretty good deal. You got two tents. And what did he get? An air compressor. An air compressor. Come on. Come on. So. Come on. Everybody's happy. Even Bruno's happy. And I gave 40 bucks for that air compressor three years ago. Yep. Yep. I don't know what these are worth. No. I think that one's like a hundred. I don't know what this one is. Off with that. Come on. They're nice tents though. They're good quality tents. They've lasted how many years? You know. Well, if you take care of them, they will. Yeah. Do you have enough spray for this one? No, I used four cans on that. I used four cans of spray on that? Yes, I did. Wow. Good thing I bought you. That's why I asked. <laughs> well, the teepee so. tent only took three, but there's less material. Right. These are cabin tents, so it's more material. So I'm thinking another four cans for that. Yeah. This is probably never been waterproof. No, probably not. A lot of people don't know to do that. Or they just don't do it, don't bother. They just don't know to do it. Yeah. I've had so many people at the campsites where I camp at. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many times got a brand new tent. Leaks like a sieve. Mm -hmm. Go get you some Scotch Guard. What? Did you waterproof it? No, you got to? Yeah, they're not waterproof. No, they're nylon. They're not waterproof. You got to waterproof them. 
you know. Yeah. Oh well. Anyways, that's my crazy vlog for today. <laughs> it's all over the place. We were all over the place. That's the way it's been <laughs> for a while. <clears throat> you went, yeah, you were at the river today. So, anyways, I'm going to say I'm out for now and I'm going to upload this video. I work tomorrow, so I got to get ready for that. And hopefully, I got an idea what I want to do for my little fire thing over there. Kind of dress it up, make it pretty. So, shh, don't tell Shea Bear. Anyways, oh, I found me a pink bike today at Walmart. It was pretty cool. Huh? I thought you were going to buy it. Oh, no. I'm not going to buy a bike without you having one. I can't run. Well, then what's the use of me riding one? I'll be by myself. Anyways, it was cute. It was pink. And it had a little carrier so I could put Bruno in it. It had a cell phone carrier. And it also had a cup where you could put your drink at. So, anyways, it's kind of cute. Alright, guys. I'm out of here. I'll hopefully get you something going soon. Y'all have a great week rest of it tomorrow's friday yay friday and then the weekend well you might be doing something on that because we're supposed to have a bad storm so tropical storm and they say it's going to head florida so they're watching it it may break up we might just get a lot of rain which we've already been doing so one of those anyways bye y'all have a great day